we want to write parametric equations for the ellipse given by x squared divided by 25 plus y squared divided by 49 equals one. So while parametric equations are not unique, it'll be helpful if we recognize that this equation here resembles the Pythagorean identity given here below, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. And since 25 is equal to five squared and 49 is equal to seven squared, it might also be helpful to write this equation in the form of x divided by five squared. Notice how this is still x squared divided by 25 plus y divided by seven squared equals one. Now comparing this to the identity below, we can let x divided by five equal sine theta and y divided by seven equal cosine theta. Or if we wanted to, we can let x divided by five equal cosine theta and y divided by seven equals sine theta. Either way, it would satisfy this equation, and because parametric equations are not unique, either method is fine. But since on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta, I'm gonna go ahead and let x divided by five equal cosine t instead of cosine theta. And then I'll let y divided by seven equal sine t. So notice if we perform these substitutions, we would have cosine squared t plus sine squared t, which does equal one. And now to finish, we'll solve this equation for x and this equation for t. So we multiply both sides by five. We have x equals five cosine t. And the second equation would be y equals seven times sine t. So while I mentioned we could have let x divided by five equal sine t and y divided by seven equal cosine t. The curve would still be the same, but it would have a different orientation if we graph the parametric equations. So I do want to do a quick comparison on the two different sets of parametric equations. Again, here are the parametric equations that we found. By letting x divided by five equal cosine t and y divided by seven equal sine t, these two parametric equations would also be correct if we let x divided by five equal sine t and y divided by seven equal cosine t. But as t increases, the ellipses would be traced using a different orientation. So for example, if we compare the values when t equals zero, well when t is zero using these two equations, x is five and y is zero, so we'd be at this point here, and then when x increases to pi divided by two, the point would be zero seven or this point here. So the ellipse would be traced out counterclockwise in this direction. Now if we compare this to the second set of parametric equations, when t is zero, x is equal to zero and y is equal to seven, so we'd be at this point here, and then as t increases to pi over two, we'd be at the point five zero or this point here. So these parametric equations would trace the ellipse clockwise. The end result is the same curve, but if t was time and we watched the trace of the curve as t increased, the orientation would be different. But this does demonstrate one of the purposes of parametric equations. If t represents time, then the parametric equations allows an animation or movement as time increases. But in Cartesian equations, where we just have x and y, we just get the graph without the orientation. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.